Carbon is the sixth element on the periodic table. And it comes in six known allotropes, or forms, of this element in its pure form. Three of them have been known since antiquity. One is charcoal, which I'll show you a little bit here. Right there, charcoal. Another one is graphite, which is what you find in a pencil, commonly referred to as a pencil lead, but they stopped using lead a long, long time ago, even before they knew that lead was toxic, just because graphite works better. And the third form is diamond. So the three forms, these are the three forms that have been known for a very long time. And very recently, three new forms have been discovered. One of them is called Buckminster Fullerene, commonly referred to as buckyballs. These are balls of 60 carbon atoms that are hollow on the inside, kind of like a soccer ball, except hollow. And another form is carbon nanotubes. These are tubes with you know, hundreds, thousands, or millions of carbon atoms. And they can be open on one end or closed on one end. C60 in these nanotubes have given rise to a whole new symbol in chemistry. It's the at sign. Just an at sign. And this is to signify, let's say, had boron inside one of these molecules, I'd go B at C60. And this would tell whoever was reading this that I had boron inside a C60 molecule. So, another allotrope, and the very, very, very newest, is graphene. Graphene is a single layer of graphite. So it's graphite that's been split apart into layers one atom thick. And nobody really knows for sure exactly what applications this is going to have, but it's pretty cool, as all people know right now. Um, also, if you uh, measure electric conductivity of different allotropes. It's very interesting. Um, I don't have, obviously, all the different allotropes, but um, coal is completely insulated. Graphite is conducts a teeny, teeny bit. Um, and uh, the nanotubes are almost as good conductors as metal, as a metal. So this has, this may have some very interesting applications in the real world. Another place carbon is found is in hydrocarbons. Methane is one, has one carbon with four hydrogens around it. And as you can see here, it's a gas at room temperature. 